Well, it's so good to be back at factory number one in Bedminster in Bristol. It's been over two years since I was last here and the amount of change has been phenomenal. One of the old buildings has been fully converted and is now fully occupied with new homes in there. Then you've got a new build structure here, the tobacco store, that's complete. This very industrial looking new builds building, all complete, fully occupied. But to start things off, I want to take a look at this one. Regent's House. Very smart new entrance hallway. Hello mate, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I'm George. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Keith. AKA SP0. Standing in this fantastic staircase. Obviously, it's got this beautiful existing timber work, gorgeous finials, lovely handrails. But you've come in and created these beautiful glazed illustrated panels, haven't you? What's the inspiration for this? Because it's the old cigarette factory, it was basically taking uh, the cigarette cards um, that were. You know, collected using the cigarette card designs and you know concept of that and bringing it in with the outside yeah. patterns that already existed so ones that were taken from the sections of the actual building okay. so the uh, you know wills build, building itself the cigarette cards were amazing weren't they i yeah. mean i remember my granddad and my nan they all smoked they smoked like chimneys back in the day <laughs> yeah. and i used to love it even as a kid that they would open it and pick the card out and i would sit and look yeah. at them for ages absolutely fantastic but i just love the way that you've You've got the kind of fairly serious architecture of the staircase, you know, yeah. quite grand with its big grand timber stair. But then you've just layered it up beautifully with fantastic pieces of inspiration from the original use of the building. It's the whole reason why it's here. You've absolutely brought the staircase to life as well as help tell the story about the building's past. Oh, amazing. Thank That's you. That's wonderful. Well done. Awesome. Lovely to meet Thank you, mate. You. Nice to see you. Look Thank after you. yourself. Take Have care. I'm going to enjoy the rest of your gorgeous staircase. <laughs> For me, one of the most exciting things about converting an old building is you get very unusual, unique spaces, which means you can have very unique homes. And when I was last here, there was a space that was very much under construction, but now it's all finished. Now this is so different, but I have to say it's so good. It's nearly unrecognizable from what it was like before. It was a, Huge open space, but obviously you've got to put in bedrooms and bathrooms and entrance doors and hallways. I have to say it's been done very well. You've got a lovely dining area, beautiful kitchen. The thing I really want to see is this. Oh, now that is fantastic. How unique is this? It's brilliant. Even the acoustics are amazing in here. And above our heads is the iconic copper domed roof and this is a wonderful living room I have to say that is the magic of restoring old buildings you get wonderful spaces like this and what's exciting is this is one of the show homes This floor, this is where all the directors of the tobacco company used to work, hence why you've got all of this beautiful grand panelling lying in the side of the corridor. But it didn't look like this until City and Country took the building. They have painstakingly restored it, adding new pieces of timber into the old and then bringing in a French polisher to seamlessly blend it all together. What a wonderful way to enter your apartment. Now this level has been all converted, but there's one particular apartment I've been told I should see because it's very special. So this 
was the old boardroom for the directors of the business. Could you imagine coming up to this magnificent space with its timber panelling and unbelievably ornate ceiling with a massive board table, all the directors sitting around with their suits on, stiff collars, no doubt smoking cigarettes, as you'd imagine, particularly in the line of business they were in. But look at it now. The entire space has been transformed into a wonderful open plan living room, kitchen diner. That's not a bad fireplace, is it? All of this was covered up. All of all the period features like those tobacco coloured tiles were all hidden away because the building had been messed around with so much over the years and had lost its charm and character. Even the ceiling had been boarded over with a cheap, nasty, suspended ceiling panel system. So, City and Country very carefully have taken all of that stuff away, exposed all the wonderful period features, and then worked staggeringly hard to restore and repair them. Just take a look at this panelling. Now, City and Country had discovered lots of panelling around, some of it damaged, most of it could be reused. They then got the joiners to rebuild the wall in sections of panelling but added new bits of timber where they were missing and that would have made it look completely different and a little bit of a mess but you then get a French polisher to come in after the joiners have done their wonderful work to seamlessly colour it and polish it so you really can't tell the difference between the old and the new which I have to say is one of the best reclaimed, restored, repaired, new, French polished, oak panelled walls I've ever seen. That wasn't easy to see. And then you come the other side of the panelled wall and you've got a beautiful kitchen dining area. Integrated appliances, stone worktops, huge fire on the other side of the breakfast bar. I'll tell you what, as living room kitchen diners go, it doesn't get much grander than this. And I have to say, all the bedrooms are fantastic. That's a beautiful ensuite shower room. This apartment has got a beautiful walk in wardrobe with hanging rails. And then look at this for a lovely double bedroom. You've got high windows, tons of natural light, 100% wall carpets. I have to say, it's very smart indeed. I'm joined by City and Country's Design and Planning Director, Simon Vernon Harcourt, to tell me more about the new build elements at Factory One. I have to say, it's even at this time of year, things are looking very green and beautiful. You've created this fantastic oasis. Bedminster is a busy, bustling, vibrant area of Bristol, but to have this little oasis surrounded by these buildings it's like a massive scale walled garden really it where is. instead of a little wall you've kind of got three stories of buildings around you. Yeah and, and you know we are right in the heart of the city you know the old city's just over there. Yeah. I mean the road on the other side of there is a busy thriving road it it's, is. A, it's like a busy little high street. It is. You can hardly hear anything when you're in here. Yeah. So just talk me through each section of the buildings that we've got around this beautiful oasis space and a little bit about names. Where we've just come from is Regent House, yeah. which is where the, essentially the director's suite. Yeah, which is we up were up on the ground floor, second floor, yeah, where you can see the tall windows. So that's where we were. We then come round to Consort House, which has shops and cafes and things on the ground floor and apartments above. And they're all complete and completely solid. They're all full. Everyone's in there. Everyone's, Everyone's in living there. there now. Everyone's that's in there. That's fantastic, that. Brilliant. And then here. And then if we go around, we've got the tobacco store, which is in the location where the tobacco store was. Our new buildings we've tried to pick up on industrial kind of Victorian architecture. So you've got a solid base with huge great big stone arches at the bottom and they get smaller as you go up. You can see the brickwork cutting in. There's a great tradition in Bristol and in other areas of having great big lettering on the front of your building. So that's what we wanted to do here. We've got the tobacco store. Everybody knows it's a tobacco store. No one's going to miss it. The postman's you, always going to find it. You could it. not miss that at all. But that's a great sign. We've got the capstan room, which is which was a some kind of medieval winch, but it was their brand of cigarettes. And, and that's a very industrial building. I mean, you've exposed the entire steel frame, haven't you? It's like these brick insert panels to form the walls of each apartment. I mean, that 
That industrial feel is very strong and quite brave, I have yeah. to say. And then beyond that, we're going to go and see the cutting room, which is the tallest building we're building, which takes on the kind of brick architecture we've got here, but goes up to nine floors and offers amazing views. So, so should we wander over and Absolutely. have a look? Let's have a look. So Simon, we're up here at the ninth floor and I have to say the views are just spectacular, aren't they? I think this is, this is one of the tallest buildings in this part of Bristol. It's, it's great. And it? this must be one of the tallest buildings that city and country have done. It is the tallest building. The tallest building. It is the tallest the building. The tallest yeah. building you've yeah. done. But even though it is staggeringly high, it kind of works, doesn't it? Because of the, I suppose, the topography of the city, because it rises up at that size, it rises up to the hills at that side. It's kind of in keeping. It yeah, you're nestled in out. this kind of yeah. valley with the hills all around you. So we're probably not higher than the hills around us. So it's great that you can see, because Bristol is quite an urban centre. But to be able to see the soft landscape beyond and the fields and you know, the sun's just coming out, what a, what a great thing to see every morning when you Absolutely. get Absolutely. We should talk about the views you're going to get at the lower levels. You might not be able to see as far as that, but you're very much going to be connected to the greenery of wonderful landscape gardens, aren't you? Yeah, so as we, you go down the levels and as you come out into this building, we've created this little oasis in Bedminster where you've got the shell of the historic buildings on one side, our new buildings on the other side, and this green space that terraces up with planting. So you're away from the hustle and bustle. Absolutely right. fantastic. Well, whoever owns one of these apartments is going to be very, very lucky. They are, yes. Very lucky. Yeah. I'm quite jealous, actually. <laughs> very jealous. Shall we have a look around? Yeah, let's go yeah. and have a look. Great modern, apartment. Tri modern double glazing, yeah. amazing views all around. Every apartment has a terrace. Um, this, this one has this little inset into the facade to protect you from the wind but still give you the wonderful views of the landscape beyond. Fantastic. And, uh, so yeah, it's quite, I'm uh, quite proud of this one. Let's see some more. So another apartment here, views two ways, laser glass, city, countryside bridge. What more could you want really? I mean, and even though the other one's an amazing apartment, in some ways, I prefer this one personally <laughs> because you get more direct views of the city, yeah. don't you? It's kind of nicely yeah. framed. Fantastic. Oh, Let's keep going. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for showing me around today. It's so nice to come back and see how much it's moved on and it looks brilliant. Still a way to go. Still a way to go. It's always a pleasure, George, to show you around, see the transformations we're doing. Oh, I love my job and I love showing you around and showing everybody what we're doing. I'll see you again soon. Nice Take to see you, George. Yourself. Thank you. Bye. I have to say it's been an absolute pleasure to come back to factory number one and see the magnificent progress that city and country have made over the last couple of years. The breathing life into fantastic old buildings while at the same time creating new homes that respect the history and the character of the place. Combine that with Undercroft Parking, beautifully landscaped gardens and a concierge service. I can't help but thinking that all the people that live here are somewhere very special. I can't wait to come back.